Hello guys, MC the miniature surgeon here, the real life surgeon with a passion for all things Warhammer, and today I'm going to show you how to create the illusion of a flaming body. In this example, I'll be taking a Mortec Guard from the Osiarch Bone Reapers faction, and I'll be painting it in the color scheme of the Crematorians. These are skeleton warriors with an inbuilt furnace in the middle of their hearts, ready to explode in the face of their enemies. But you can take this color scheme and put it in any other miniature you want, whether it be a Nazgul or a Ringwraith. Using Chaos Black Spray as a foundation, we're going to highlight the miniature with a dry brush of Mechanica Standard Grey to give the mini an overall highlight. Helps quickly get us some definition on the model, as well as give us some clues and hints as to where to put our colors next. Then, using Flesh Terrors Red, mixed with Contrast Medium at a ratio of 1 to 4, we're going to apply an overall wash over the model. The innate shiny property of Flesh Terror Red will help give the impression of burning bones and embers throughout the entire model. As you're putting a Flesh Terrors Red down, go ahead and move the paint around the model, making sure it's not pulling in areas where it shouldn't. So, areas that are flat, such as the top of the skull, are areas you should be aware of. Next, we're going to use Evil Sun Scarlet mixed with Lamy Medium at a ratio of 1 to 4 to apply to the recesses of the model. You can be quite liberal with this part, so don't worry too much about getting it absolutely right. These are areas such as the joints and the eyes, and if you find the color too light at this stage, you don't need to go over it just yet. There are plenty more colors to come to help build up this illusion of burning flames. Using Troll Slayer Orange mixed with Lamy and Medium, this time at a ratio of 1 to 3, we're going to repeat the same process and glaze over the recesses that we have gone over with Evil Sun Scarlet, only being more selective this time only for the deeper recesses. Now, this is the middle color in the range of colors to create this burning effect, so whenever you find an area lacking in intensity, go ahead and go over that area again with this mixture, whether it be it now or after we're almost done. Adding to the intensity of the flames, we're going to use Uriel Yellow mixed with Lamian Medium at a ratio of 1 to 3 to drop into only the deepest recesses in the model. The integration of these four colors will start to really bring out the illusion that we're looking for. Now if there's areas that you think are being overpowered by Uriel Yellow, which is quite easily done, do go back to the Troll Slayer Orange mixture and go over that area to come to a very nice mid-tone. Finishing off the bone on the miniature, we're going to give it a very light dry brush of Corvus Black. This very dark grey color is a perfect resemblance to burnt bone. Using White Scar, we're going to accentuate the hottest areas by spot highlighting. These will be areas such as the eyes and very selected areas of the joints. Again, if you find the color of white too overpowering when it dries, do go back to our mid-tone in the form of Troll Slayer Orange to blend the effect in. Now to finish the model off, we're going to give it an overall coat of Art Coat to give it a glossy finish. And there we are guys, our crematorium is ready to blow up some Stormcast Eternals. Some final tips guys, remember that a preliminary dry brush can really help you plan where to put your paints next. Always remember which is your mid-tone, so you can always go back to it when any color becomes overpowering, or if the effect you're building is not quite intense enough. Remember, this effect can be applied from anything from skeletons to bloodthirsters alike. Guys, let me know in the comments section what models you think work best with this flaming effect. 
If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button, it really helps us out. And if we can get 20 likes on this video, I'll be posting another one on how to paint the flaming molten weapons on my Bloodthirster. And remember guys to subscribe for more awesome content. Guys, this is MC, the Miniature Surgeon, signing out. <laughs>